Well, here we are on a rather blustery and rainy day. You can probably hear the rain pitter-pattering on the umbrella above my head and thus above the camera. And um, we're joined by a couple of friends you see over there, gulls. Now, these are not the therapist kind of gulls. These are free gulls. Um, yeah, you'll see the umbrella come into shot from time to time, sorry. But anyway, these are a couple of free gulls, and that means they just do whatever they like. And as I stand here, I look at them, and I know they're looking at me, and I know they're thinking something. The thing is, what are they thinking? And how are you meant to express that? How are you, how are you supposed to express what another animal, what you think another animal thinks? Because what is their language? I mean, you know their language is in English or Dutch or whatever. And yet, you know, they look at me and they see something. See, one's just flown away. I hope the other one isn't going to go quickly. Stay around. Uh, enjoy the fun goal. <laughs> so they're thinking something, but what are they thinking? You know, and uh, this is one of those puzzles that um, I think has challenged lots of people. You, you, you know, those who've had a pet. It doesn't matter what. I mean, we once had a goldfish. <laughs> I used to stand in front of the goldfish bowl and wonder, what is the goldfish thinking? Because I knew it was thinking something. It, the way it moved, it was clear it had a point of view. But what was that point of view? And uh, whether these thoughts, uh, these questions are of any use to humanity, I can't say. But I'm sure we all have them. You know, you look at something. I mean, for example, this, this um, bench over here, there's no way I'd wonder what is the bench thinking. It's a bench, it's a nice bench or not a nice bench. But I'd never ask myself, what is this bench thinking? No. I'll ask who sat on the bench, what have they done on the bench, but that's about it. But when we get to life forms, and this includes plants, I wonder what are they thinking or what do they feel? With plants it's more a case of what do they feel? With animals it's what are they thinking? And I really wish I could get into the head of a gull, like the one you see in front of you, over there. Um, the reason I'm staying here is that if I take any more steps towards the gull, it'll get nervous. That's why the other one sort of disappeared. So I'm staying here, and I'm hoping you can see it. Um, I wonder how they know each other, because I'm sure each gull knows, oh, it's not that gull, but it's the other one, you know. You get all this stuff that we can't see. I mean, gull experts, of course, they can see that, but I can't see that. I can just see, oh, it's a sort of brownish gull with, uh, or sort of white with brown bits or brown with white bits. I don't know. There's a gray bit. It's got a beak. It's got those eyes watching everything. And that's all I can say about this gull. I don't even know what kind of gull it is. Um, and uh, I've completely lost my point. <laughs> I think, oh yeah, about what they think, something about what animals think, anyway. Um, yeah, I wonder what animals think, so... <laughs> I have to laugh, sometimes uh, that is a danger, or that is a risk you take with uh, live vlogging, so to say, or unedited vlogging. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there are these thoughts that come into my head and they're just not, they're not completely formed. They just come out, so... Um, uh, I hope you can uh, handle that uh, <laughs> next time. <laughs> next time around, I'll try and be uh, more um, focused in my uh, view. Uh, until then, it's uh, goodbye from me.